be, I be on the phone Talking about some deals, Pella I'm working hard, so don't you hate on me I been fed up Ooh, tata my chance And you think you gonna win, never Oh, pete malu, ya paula, granti, in, clever Yo, this is on some other Episode of Running the Streets with Mongani Hanging out with probably the hottest person in the music industry right now uh, It goes by the name of MT uh, MT, you've probably got the hottest song on rotation right now um, When you were recording the song, did you expect what's going to be happening now? No, not at all, you know um, Well, I found Ralph you know, in the studio mm. making this beat and I was like, hey man, let me try something now with this beat mm. He actually had other plans for the beat I was like, yo, man, scrap that, and I, I got an idea, pretty idea, you know. Um, I went in the booth and I just freestyled. But I was just trying something out, you know. Yeah. Um, I didn't like how it came out, you know. The but, first time? Uh, yeah, but Ralph, my producer, mm-hmm. he's more than just my producer, you know. he's also a friend, also a brother, you know, we live together. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, he's like, no, man, let's just keep this as original and raw as it is, you know. So, yeah, man, we kept, we, we released the song as it is. I wasn't too sure about it, you know. After you made the song? Yeah, like, I felt like we were taking a big risk, you know. And yeah. Surprisingly, it worked, man. You know? I mean, from from when you started doing it, take yourself last year, part of the song growing up. Yeah. To you being nominated for Metro's, performing every single place. Obviously, yeah. as, a, as an artist, you've got plans in your head that listen, sure. this is our plan, we're going to gonna try and do release a song and blow up. Yeah. It probably happened way quicker than you anticipate. Uh well only just the song being viral. Yeah. But like my my whole career, you know, uh has taken uh more than a decade you know, to be where I'm at. Mm. Uh I started I started making music when I was nine years old in primary school. Yeah. Uh yeah, man, like my, my, my whole music career has been, has been, you know, for a long time now, you know. Uh, where, are you but from? Like, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from a small town called Matatia in the Eastern Cape. Um, but I don't live there. Okay. I grew up in Jowa, I live most of my life in Jowa. You know, uh, so, yeah, man. To me, I think what, what shocks me, you talk about obviously starting out at night. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 23, you know. At 23 and you've got all this success, um, do you ever wake up and be like, listen, is this my life? Am I living in someone else? Like, how do you feel now being you right now? But I always try not to be too comfortable. Mm. You know? uh, I try as much as I can to to achieve more, you know, because mm. um, it's never enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I don't like, I, I, I don't think I've made it or I'm successful or whatever. Yeah, you know, there's still a lot to do, you know. Um, but I'm thankful every single day, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. I thank God, you know, every day, you know, for the patience, and the perseverance, and all the circumstances that He put me through, you know. Uh, for me, it was more of a learning curve, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I spent a lot of these other years where um, I wasn't really noticed. Yeah, uh, I spent that time learning a lot. Um, I hung around a lot of established artists from yeah. a young age, you know? mm. So I took all that time to to just watch and learn, you know, be that kid in the background, you know, play dumb, but knowing that I'm plotting on something. Yeah, when, when your time comes in. Yeah. What do you think the biggest misconception is about the game right now? I mean, coming from when you wanted to get on, to actually being on. Like, I mean, we, we came here now, you know, on Taru. Yeah. You put it you put the literally want to be in bed, you put everyone to speak to us. That's part of your job, you're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I think most people don't know that side of the game. They just see you on TV, yeah. videos. What do you think the biggest misconception is about being, being a hip-hop star? Well, man, like, a lot of people think we are rich, we have money, mm. so they call us and, and ask us for money. Sorry for that thing. I like the I like the way you say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like a lot of people don't understand. You know, yeah. It, 
we're not rich, man. You know, this is our job right here. You know? mm. uh, what day it made me like to be rich, you know? But right now, you know, you know. So, one of the misconceptions, man, is that, like, people, especially when I come across people, yeah, just, they have a lot to say. Things like, it must be nice, huh? Uh, I'm sure you have a big house and a big car, right? Eh? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they're already telling themselves that, you know, they've already got this picture of what's happening, you know, yeah. without even asking or wanting to know what's happening, like behind the scenes and stuff like that, you know. What do you listen to on your own time? Forget about you. Let's say you're in your car in your own space. Like, what are you listening to now? If you're in your car, what do you listen to? Well, I hardly listen to you know other musicians, mm. but like I always, I'm always looking for the latest music. Mm. You know, either the latest music or some jazz. You know? Something, something that's kind. Of yeah, yeah. Um, especially um, with hip hop, you know. Um, I guess that's why most of the time I'm, uh, I'm like, ten steps ahead of these people. Mm. It's when it comes to the the evolution of sound itself. Yeah, you know. Yeah, man. And and I think for me, I heard you sing. And, uh, one thing that most people don't know about you yeah. is that you were a you were a child. Yeah. And a very proud father. Like most guys yeah. in the industry, generally, first of all, never show they go what you've done, mm -hmm. or show they kids. I've seen your child. Yeah. At 23, how hard is it to be a responsible father? You're one of the few guys that actually talk about fatherhood and the child and yeah. the fact that that's what you hear from. Yeah, man, like, it was, it was a, a situation where hmm, I, I had to think, you know, for, for his future. Hmm. And, and his existence also pushed me to be where I'm at, you know. Because hmm. I can't sleep if my son is out there in need of nappies and stuff. Yeah. I can't speak, you know, so I, I gotta go feed him. Um yes, this is one of the reasons why I, I kinda of pushed hard and came in aggressively. You know? mm. Yeah. And so then um this is one of my he's my biggest inspiration. You know? No man, shout out yeah. to you man. Look man, just to wrap up, uh what can you expect from you for the rest of this year? Yo man, I'm a surprise type guy, you know? I'm a surprise with people. You know, just even my album was a surprise. You know? just just randomly, it was a surprise to me. Dropped it, you know, just randomly dropped it. So, I might just randomly drop stuff. Might be a mistake, might be a song. Might be Wherever you feel like the man. Yeah. I be on the phone, talking about some deals, Pella. I'm working hard, so don't you hate on me. I've been fed up. Who tapped on my chance, and you think you're gonna win? Never. Oh, the steez is on some other.